Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff. I'm a little dirty. I've done two videos today, and this will be my third and final one before I go and rest my weary head. Maybe. I might do a fourth. I don't know. But anywho, I am back at a place I haven't been to in, I guess, two years now. And this place is incredibly rich with... Yeah, obsidian ow very hot obsidian because the sun is out now i will put on my gloves here because obsidian is crazy crazy sharp uh the place i'm at here so you can see there's a big sign behind me that says danger no trespassing they have an active mine there there are active mines in this area so make sure you stay on that side of the signs you don't want to be claim jumping i don't think they shoot claim jumpers but i don't want to find out and i really don't want to have to pay a fine so Let's get a bucket. Let's go collect some obsidian. Up here, we're going to find black obsidian, red obsidian sometimes, uh, snowflake for sure, mahogany obsidian for sure. And if I'm really, really lucky, I will find some. Um, it floats. I can't think of the name of it. I'll say it here in a second. Pumice stone. Ha! Didn't take me that long. Now, this area where I'm at is also open range. Again, this is all BLM land. Uh, Something didn't make it. Big old cow. But we're going to check over here on this debris field that they have dumped. As you can see, there's decent sized chunks of obsidian just laying in the road. You have to be careful out here because uh, this stuff will flatten your tires. <laughs> it's very, very sharp. Now, most of the stuff I have found over here has always been the uh, black obsidian there is some snowflake that i'm seeing here's a nice nice big chunk of black obsidian look at the size of that thing and then of course there's the snowflake like this i'm going to go to another area also and show you what's up here that's some of that red obsidian uh, a little bit of mahogany to it you definitely do not want to wear sandals out here as i said Obsidian is uh, so crazy sharp that they still use it today. Uh, they'll make scalpels out of it. A lot of my friends who use obsidian that I bring them back, they will turn it into uh, arrowheads. They will nap with it. That's a, that's a pretty broken up piece. I'm going to leave it. A lot of fractures in it. But the way obsidian is made is whenever a volcano goes off because it is it's lava essentially it is lava well not essentially it is lava it is volcanic glass and it was created whenever that lava hit water and almost instantly cooled i mean it cooled off super fast so that's what's going on here that's a pretty piece of snowflake you guys can see the snowflake in there. It'll look better once it's polished up. This is, of course, rough obsidian. Nice big chunk of snowflake, actually. Here's a decent piece of mahogany, but I'll get some better mahogany here in a second. That's almost mahogany snowflake. Interesting. Let's make our way up over here, and you can see all the black in this hillside, that's all obsidian. And here's the piece of the red I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna take my glove off, it's dangerous. Look how red that is. I've never found a piece bigger than that. I would love to find a big piece of the red out here at some point. Okay, let's go up to the top and look around. Well, I haven't made it to the top yet, but I found a bigger piece of red. Come here. That's pretty. That stuff is so pretty. Okay, here we go. Let's figure out how to get up there as I crunch across this broken volcanic glass. Now, what they're mining, they're not actually mining the obsidian. The obsidian is a waste product. They actually want the stuff behind the obsidian, which is uh, some kind of rare earth mineral, I think. Ooh, that's a real nice piece of snowflake. But uh, yeah, this obsidian to them is just junk. They have no use for it, so it gets dumped. And they've got some big piles of it over there, but I can't get to it. 
oh well there's enough here that I don't have to worry about it and sometimes you get really neat looking pieces like uh, this one here you can see that drip almost another nice piece of snowflake And I will show you guys how to get to this spot. It's real easy to get to. And once you're out here, if you need obsidian and you don't find it, I, I don't know what to tell you. All right, well, this is not the original spot I was heading to, but I saw this from the road and I had to come over and check it out. And if you look in there, all those black lines going down those are obsidian that is obsidian all through there and there is some nice nice snowflake here this is pretty cool i'm gonna check this area out a little bit and uh I'm not gonna use my bucket I'm only gonna fill my pocket but then we will get over to the other side look at those little bubbles of obsidian in there how cool is that I tell you what, I just said it before and I'll say it again. Utah has got some amazing stuff going on. Look at this piece. That'll come with me. My pocket's getting full already. All right, let's see if I can climb up this moon field. <laughs> I'm falling on my head. Whew, that was not easy. My truck has parked it back up over there. I took the easy way down. Now I'm gonna take the hard way up. Maybe, I might have to turn around. But as you can see, there's just all sorts of crazy cool things littering the ground through here. I saw nothing that said I was on a mine, so I think I'm good. And if I'm not, well then, I guess I'll get in trouble, but I think I'm all right. Look at that snowflake. Oh my goodness. That's spectacular. And there's big chunks of it down here too. Holy cow. This is a neat place, guys. Look at the size of this one. That is one big massive chunk of snowflake obsidian. I don't have my gloves on, so I gotta be real careful. I do not want to cut myself. That's huge. That's another big one. That one's not as good looking, but still very cool. All right, let me get back up to the truck, get my gloves, we'll check this area out a bit, and then we'll see what coolness we can find. See if I can actually climb it or not. All right, friends, if you do decide to come out here and rock on yourself some uh, obsidian, two things I recommend of course always have your water that's I don't even have to recommend that you should have that I've got a whole case of it but uh gloves at least one unless you're shooting a video or I should, I should say two unless you're shooting a video and only using one hand and uh come in the morning don't do what I did this is my last stop of the day it's about almost four o'clock Utah time so five o'clock back home in Missouri and uh, obsidian gets hot like no joke that stuff hurts to touch which makes sense it's black it's soaking up all that solar radiation all day so morning hunt uh, water gloves this is also BLM land so you can come out here and I believe you can camp for I think it's up to seven days or maybe it's six days I don't remember you'll have to check those rules but yeah, the obsidian is just everywhere, just laying on the ground. I'm gonna go check that pile. Another really nice sized chunk, snowflake. Oh, there's one right there on the hill too. Let's see if I can get up there. Stuff's a little, little iffy to walk on. Oh, that one's real nice, okay. The first time I was out here, I just took whatever was obsidian, and I was super happy. 
Well, I've done it enough times that I'm getting real picky now. Also be could be because I'm kind of tired, but you know, whatever. What if we here? Look at that piece just sitting there. Is it a chunk or a flat? It's kind of flat, but it's uh natural flat. Very cool. All right, let's load this up and let's get to the last spot. Into the truck I go. Okay, guys, now this area is mahogany, obsidian rich. Uh, I will say, though, whenever you come up here, you're going to need a vehicle that sits a little higher. Uh, Four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive is not needed, but it doesn't hurt to have it. But you're not going to make it up this hill with a car. Uh, it's a little rough. But anywho, let's get out there and find some mahogany obsidian. All right, we're heading down into the pit here. And we're going to check the sides, which there is still obsidian through there. And as you can see, very large and good sized pieces of mahogany obsidian. Those are all going in the bucket. I know they're all going. Some nice pieces here. It really is just picking up the obsidian. I prefer to find the bigger pieces when I can. But down in the mahogany pit here, it's usually pretty broke up. But you will find nice pieces like this. Let me flip that over. There we go. So let's go ahead and fill this bucket. And I gotta shoot a thumbnail too. And then uh, I'm gonna head out, you guys. So if I find anything really good, I'll show you on camera. If not, I'm going to fill the bucket. I'll see you guys in St. Louis. All right, my friends, I am back from the obsidian fields of Utah. And uh, I pretty much jumped out of the frying pan out there and into the fryer back here at home. But uh, I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I found. But obsidian is kind of boring, I think, whenever it just sits like it is. So you know what? I'm actually gonna make something on this video. We're gonna try to make an obsidian cube, but let me show you what I got first. All right, so what I have here is a few pieces of obsidian laid out. This one's gonna be the one that's a cube because this, that's a pretty good chunk. Should be able to cut that off, no issue. But over here we have, this is our mahogany obsidian. And maybe it'll show up, yeah, you can see that brownish red color in there it looks like mahogany it's beautiful stuff this whoop, is for a future video and it's just covered up right now but uh as you guys can see it's going to be a little bit of dugway <laughs> over here we have another beautiful piece of mahogany and once you get that desert dust off of it it really starts to show up now I do have more snowflake. I do have a little bit of the black mahogany or black obsidian still. That's a nice piece of mahogany. But let's stop chatting about that. Let's make this into a cube and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. All right, so I've got it lined up here in my saw. Get it all tightened down. For those of you that don't know what a cube is, a cube is a, um, it's, it's a 3D square or 4D square. One of the two. I think, yeah, 3D square. 4D is impossible, or is it? But it's going to take six cuts. So the first cut is going to take off that rough edge right there. And we'll get that started, and I'll come back to it when it's done. <laughs> I forgot to flip my lever. Okay, now we'll come back to it when it's done. All right, first cut done. That's pretty. I will be keeping these. Uh, first cut done. Five more to go. Obsidian is still used today to make scalpels. They use it a lot of times in uh, facial surgeries because it's such a thin cut that it doesn't leave a scar. So if you were in a bad accident or something and you get your face messed up, they'll use, uh, they'll use an obsidian blade, which I think is really cool. Stone Age man was using them. Modern technology, we still use them. All right, you guys, I'm down to just a couple of cuts left. I'm going to cut it here so I have a thicker working space. And then I'll trim that off and we will have ourselves a nice looking little cube. But I'm going to finish this up tomorrow because it feels like it's 106 degrees outside and I'm dying. 
All right, my friends, I've made a few more cuts on this obsidian. I'm about to cut right through there to trim it off so it is flush. To do that, I've been using my handy dandy, uh, not Harbor Freight even, this is a Timu uh, caliper, but it gives me close enough measurements for what I'm doing. So, check that. Check that. I'm gonna move it back a little bit, make this cut, so that way it's all squared off. All right, friends, I've put my mark on for my last cut on the big saw. We're gonna cut that. We've done about, uh, I'd say 10, 12 cuts now. Once that's cut off, we're, uh, we're gonna start the shaping process. All right, my friends, it is uh, mostly cubed up. It's kind of trapezoid, but I'm gonna do one more cut along it, and then I'm gonna cut the uh, edge off, so that way it can stand up and then we'll put some polish on it. Well guys, we had an accident. I dropped and broke my cube, so instead I'm gonna turn it into a diamond. Or at least it'll look like a diamond. Let me show you where I'm at here. I just roughed it with the 100 grit, or the 60 grit. I'm now roughing it with the 100 grit. And we're gonna put a nice little polish on this. So I'm gonna get through all these, and uh, I will be back to you in a bit. There we go, guys. One kind of crappy diamond oh well you know what i tried i know you guys like to see the lapidary stuff i might take some cuts off of that try to make them into earrings or something in the future but i think i've butchered this piece of obsidian enough kind of looks like a guitar pick i wouldn't use it as a guitar pick though all right guys so that was my obsidian video hi hamilton i hope you enjoyed it i ended it a little different by actually trying to do something i failed miserably but at least i tried usually i don't do that but the obsidian stuff is kind of boring it's just black rocks i've done it before in my channel but i figured for all the new subscribers and stuff if you want to go out and get some of your own now you know where to go to so uh, as always hope you enjoyed the video hope we can get a like share and subscribe hamilton hopes you enjoyed it and we will see you guys the next time we're out hunting rocks won't we buddy Heck yeah. All right, everybody, have a good one. Bye. Say bye, Hamilton. He says bye, guys.